aren't you leveling up? Oh, there we go. Yeah, you have a lot of souls. See, I, I, I never go past like, like if I'm close to leveling up, I'll find. I'll just like, I'm just gonna spend my souls. Yeah, because if you lose them, then they're gone. It's gone. And then it's like it's this incre it's this interesting mechanic where it's like the difference in like what well, you have like left over like you have 104. I actually didn't. Oh, I didn't spend any there. Oh, okay. Well, it's like even like 14,000 at this point. It's that's not even half of what it takes to level up for you. Mm -hmm. And it's like that is a lot of souls. And it's like. Losing that is still like like if you have thirty thousand, you know, you know what? I'm just gonna go grind ten thousand souls. You yeah, know? that's that that's doable. But it's like it almost feels like you're in a scary area to lose souls. But uh oh, there's oh a, yeah, there's this a, part. This is a part coming up that I really hate with all those shades. Oh, I Don't... hate this part more. Because you've got the wizard back there who's going to start chucking dark balls any moment. Yeah. Ranged attacks are the worst. Especially when you can't see your attacker. Yeah. Mind you, it's it's actually kind of cool. That, like I said, here, and you're basically safe from all his ranged attacks from it. Because yeah. of that pillar. Or that stalagmite, I believe, is the one that comes up from the ground. That seems right. I think it, I think the way I figured it was like stalagmite, and you make the fist going up, okay. so it's like might. It's like strength. Yeah. Well, like it's you're a, flexing. It, it was yeah. It was the only uh, it was the only like word association that made sense because it's like stalagmite wouldn't be this. No. Wouldn't be punching down. I mean, it could be. You that's, know. That's not a mighty thing to do. That's a cowardly thing to do. Yeah. Fighting someone who's weaker than you. You could argue stalactite as he's tightly holding on to the ceiling. <laughs> Mind you, I really hope I'm not wrong, and this is, it would be very embarrassing people in the comments would be like, You're an idiot. <laughs> you don't even know the difference between stalagmite and stalactite. <laughs> it's like, I know the difference, it just might not be a cr the correct difference. Um, I'm just going to say right now that I have no idea what the difference is. Well, I, I have no method of remembering which is which. Yeah. So you're miles ahead of me already. Because <laughs> it's it's knowledge that is so important to the world. Yes. That cat is Alvina. Yeah, and that was that was sort of a cool thing for me for realizing that. Like, it was like, oh, she's here. I guess this sort of cements that it is like, because it's like, she's such an obscure character in the game. Yeah. She's like, I'm here in the forest. You gonna join my covenant? I'm like, I, I guess. Yeah, it's good. Meow meow. Cats. They're the worst. I love cats. These cats are weird though. They have the giant, like, Cheshire cat grins. Yeah. They're pretty freaky. That's. That's quite ingenious. I actually really like fighting these shades. One, because. See, I went down the other way. On one hand, they're rather benign, but the second you get surrounded, it's so terrifying. Uh, Once they start hugging you, your health yeah. just... Well, the whole thing with the shades is that they're humanity. Yeah, they're like humanity that has taken... Well, it's like... Uh, that form. attacks you. Yeah. Well, it's like the... Um, I think the, I can't remember what it was the way they explained... Like, one guy explained it in a video, but it was like... Because uh, if... If we ever see the item description for humanity in the next little bit, you'll see why. It's like it's this tiny, it's the tiny black spirit or something, you know. Yeah, I think they call it a sprite. Yeah, there, there you go, sprite. And it's like this is exactly what it is. And I don't know. It just I feel like this, what's going on in Ulysseal, like right now, is so very linked to humanity and uh, the furtive pygmy and all that story behind that. Because he he. The reason why you're the chosen undead is because you have part of his lord soul. Yes. That he or whatever it's called. The this. It's a lord soul. Yeah, I guess the lord soul he has, and uh, yeah, and it's like it just it gets split up between all the all the people of the world, and that's a much smaller wolf. Mm-hmm. Sif was still young. 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah, great I, shields. I was so upset when it's like, I went through all this effort to make Artorias his great shield, upgrading a shield, getting all that, those Titanite blocks, I think, or whatever, to get to plus 10, and then it's like, I got the Sif Soul, and I used that to make, and then it's like, you just get a one that looks exactly the same here. Because for, for me, that's all that matters, is the way the armor looks. Yeah, I've kind of reached that point. It's like, I just want to make a character that has a really good style, and then everything else will fall into place. Mr. McStabby the Ginger. Yup. I watched that live stream. <laughs> He's dead now. Oh, he weird. got replaced by Butch Deadlift, the uh, armed fighter. Yes. See, I, I think this is one of the things I'm most excited for for Dark Souls 2, is that they're going to end up making... Or this, I, my expectation is that they're going to end up making so many more builds viable. Mmm, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's... Like, unarmed? Unarmed. Maybe? Uh, a proper like ranger build, like with like a bow and arrow or a crossbow. Because I think they specifically stated that. Even. Yeah. Um, I mean, we we know that they're doing a better job with the dual wielding. Because yeah. we like, I mean, I, I've avoided spoilers, but I haven't not watched videos for it. So, and I've seen it's like okay, this is a much better. This is going much better than and much better than what it was. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty exciting. The new options that'll be available. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm all nerding out. Such a such a striking image too, seeing these guys. Yeah. What? Especially if you like have humanity on your hotbar a lot and you're familiar with the icon and just instant recognition. Yeah. Oh totally. Like when I saw like when I saw them, I'm like, that looks familiar. And then it was like I used humanity to kindle a bonfire fire further. I'm like Okay. Thumbs up. And it's never stated anywhere. They no. never... There's no text, there's no character who says anything. You just make that connection yourself. Yeah. And this is... I think this is, like, the... one, Probably one of the biggest points that you can put in From Software's favor for being a great developer is that they they treat their players as though they are intelligent beings. Yes, they, don't they demand that their players be intelligent. Yeah, or at the very least, they train you to become intelligent. Like <laughs> I wouldn't like, like I, I admittedly didn't read into a lot of the stuff in Dark Souls, but I now, oh. like, I sort of feel like I have more so the ability to now because of Dark Souls. Yes, but it it gives you the tools to develop your skills. Yeah. Also, I got swarmed by these guys in like. I remember them being a lot faster. Well, you, I, I, didn't I think reach. when there are more of them around, even, they're more likely to swarm you. Yeah. And it's like, they do damage just like by passing through you, right? Yeah, it's literally touch. Yeah. Which is very interesting, because it's like, that's, that's also, like, that's not just a gameplay thing, that's a story mechanic, in my opinion. Like hey, they, yeah. Like, there should, like, there's probably something that's like, because they're, like, pure humanity or something, or whatever, it's... It's something like that, but it's like... Or they're... They're basically a wandering soul that wants to take form, and they're trying to steal your form, perhaps. Yeah. I mean, there are so many ways you could read into it. Which is great. <laughs> I'm surprised you can talk with all this cock in her mouth. <laughs> uh, well, it's from software. It's... I don't know. I can't, I can't express... Like, with with history of, like, companies like Blizzard or EA. Bethesda. Bethesda. And even Valve to an extent where it's like, Valve has no communication with their player base, really. And it's just so upsetting sometimes. Especially when it's like, just just tell me when there's going to be a Dota 2 patch, please. <laughs> like, you, you can, or you can say, there's not going to be a patch today. Great. That's wonderful. Thanks. That's all I needed to know. I won't, I won't sit refreshing the forum page for two hours now. I can <laughs> do stuff with my day. But it's like, I don't know. I, I don't really, I guess I'm not integrated into the community for Dark Souls, like going on the forums for whatever, for From Software if they have them. But it's like, the, the simple fact that they treat their players as in, like such intelligent beings, it's like, they have expectations. It's just... It's such a breath of fresh air. Especially if they're Blizzard. Ugh. Uh, they dumbed down so much in WoW. I'm not going to get into that, but... Yeah, let's not get into the... Dark Souls. It's wonderful. 
Oh, it's so wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Try jumping off. What a great idea. It's like, I'm not going to try and get in under there. <laughs> Just going to go the other way. Yeah. Uh, shit. I forgot what I was going to say. Need wigs. <sighs> There's so many parts in this game where it's like, they really just want you to just try jumping and dying. Yeah. Are you sh are you sure there is nothing over there? Really? Well, I mean, okay, but it kind of looks like it, so you're like, fine, I'll jump, it's and then you die. Yeah, well, it's like this fog door here. It's like, the game is basically saying, I bet you can make that jump. <laughs> Come on, try. I dare you. I, I don't know if I would say, like, I don't know. I felt like my first battle with Manus wasn't, it wasn't just death. It was like, I got him pretty close to dying, and I think I died. Because I didn't really know the mechanics, but it was like, it was near the end of the game for me, like this. So, I felt confident. Yeah. And I was like, well, I have this skill level, I know I can beat him. So, I wasn't panicking as much. I guess that's the thing with Dark Souls, if you don't panic, you keep your head on a swivel. Yep. I mean, that's what kills me most of the time. Gaping Dragon. Panic. Because that's like the first really big boss. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, you fight the Taurus Demon, he's huge. Um, but you're you the fight size the Bell Gargoyles, the... they're about the same size. Yeah. And then like and if combined. you fight the Moonlight Butterfly, it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, I avoided the Moonlight Butterfly. I actually didn't fight the Moonlight Butterfly until after I beat the Gaping Dragon. Wow. Yeah. I had done... I had done the all the um, what's it called Blighttown stuff, and even Quelag or Quelog or whatever her name is before I went to Darker Grand because I'm like, I can beat the bad, I can beat the the basic mobs in Blighttown a lot quicker than I can kill those. Um, oh hi, yeah, <laughs> that big hand. Yeah, but it's like I can beat those the those jumpy guys with the dogs a lot quicker than I could have beaten the. Um, the ants. So I felt oh, like yeah. I felt like I should be going here. You felt directed. Yeah, simply just by like the level of difficulty. You know, I'm usually so invested in this battle that I don't have time to look and just take in his design. But he's, it's, yeah. Wow. Well, the thing is, it's like he's moving around so much. He's like he's not a boss you think would be quick. Yeah, definitely catches you by surprise. Yeah, but it's like, he moves around, he jumps, he's always like, he's never, he never stops, it feels like. Yeah, um, that's definitely true. And then he slams you around like that, so you never really get a moment to look at him. And he's not like a big boss where it's like, he's gonna go and fly around, like, like the gaping dragon. The camera zooms out quite a bit, it feels like. It does. And you get a proper look at him, so... Yep. But yeah, he's so cool. There's one thing about this combo attack I should mention. Oh. It kills you? <laughs> it can kill you. Um, with the combo attack, actually taking the hits is usually a lot safer than trying to block them. Because okay. if he breaks your guard, he'll do a lot more damage than just hitting you regular. Uh, I don't know if it's different than other attack mechanics. It feels different, though. Like, in this case, I can get away, so I'm willing to block. But if I'm right up in his nutsack, then I'm just going to take the hit. He's very monkey-like. Very much so. I wonder if that has to do with him being, like, primordial human. Yeah. That's interesting. Getting everything I want to say, so I'm just kind of I don't know, lost it, it, in watching. Yeah, I mean that's one of the things is that the combat in Dark Souls is so it's it's so it feels so intricate sometimes. Even though you like you probably don't think about it when you're playing, it's just like it becomes like instinct. Yeah. Like you don't think it's like oh, the controller's an extension of your body. Yeah, exactly. It's like you don't think it's like I should roll back now, I should parry now. It's like no, no, no. You just do it. 
thought is get out of the way and then your yeah. body responds. Dodge until you find an opening. Gotta chug that Estus. Gets me killed so much. I wonder what Estus tastes like. I've always managed it's like Sunny Delight. Ah, uh, that'd be nice. Remember when I first fought Manus, I really wanted to cut off his tail. <laughs> it's like, no, you can't. I was kind of disappointed that it's like, because what, what do you get from him? You get the catalyst, they, that like offhand item, the catalyst, right? For casting spells? Um, you mean from his soul? Yeah. Or you can also get, what is it, Pursuers? And fucking black magic kills me. I had my pendant out too, I was just too slow to use it. But I like, I'm pretty, like, I was really hoping for like, really cool something that's like armor because that, that's what it is for me like I play I play uh, I play knights I play warriors I don't I never play the the wizard yeah so for me it's like I really just want to uh, I just I, I just want some cool armor just give me like I, I what I would want is all his like his back rib cage horn thingies yes as like a helmet and shoulder pads. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. To have like big antler helmet, that would be cool. Like It's almost like a rib cage of antlers. Yeah. It's so crazy. And for some reason I wanted to show off my run path to the boss here. Important to note, if you hug that wall you can't get hit by his first magic attack. Only the second one. Mm. Again, that guy's killed me so many times. <laughs> yeah, it can, like this is one of the this is I guess this is actually a gripe I have with Dark Souls is that if you die during a boss, there's usually these kinds of walks back. Yeah, I like them and I don't. Like I understand their purpose is it just for the game to be continually tough, but it's like it's hard to beat a boss in the first go around. Yeah, and if it's a really long run, then yeah, you you lose any momentum you had. Aren't they doing something about that in Dark Souls too? I have. Okay. I know there's, I know there's something with like, there's something with bonfires. I can't remember. Maybe they're just gonna put a bonfire by the boss door. That'd be nice. Yeah. Although I'd be, I I'm worried that it's like these kinds of criticisms would make them change their game design. Like, because I know they're adding a new, another healing item in the game, like there's Estus flasks and then there's those healing crystals, which recover a small amount over a longer period of time. See a dodge there and I took a big hit. Um. So, yeah, that's something I think too. Like, these games are so well crafted. It feels like a single change could throw everything out of balance. Yeah, exactly. And I, I understand the purpose of the healing crystals too. It's it's basically um, to make it so that if you're going between bonfires, or it's I remember what it is. It's like because they don't want they didn't want people to be using Estus to recover damage outside of battle. I think it was more so like oh we want people to be like using Estus while they're fighting. Oh, Estus is your oh shit button. Yeah, exactly. They don't want it to be like, oh, I lost a little bit of health from the fall, or... I don't remember him doing this much magic damage. You see how much the pendant helps me? What? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I was just so much up in his grill with the big axe, because I was like, I'm not blocking any of this. I'm just going to beat you down before you beat me down. Well, it's like, when I do that much damage, and I guess you could say I was somewhat of a glass cannon at that point, even though I had full plate armor on. The thing is, you can't ever be fully protected. Yeah, that's true. So it's like... Yeah. Like, his head, his head would make such a great, like, helmet. <laughs> Just rip it off and put it on your own. Well, the cool thing is, it's like... I feel like all those red dots are supposed to be his eyes. Yeah. And so, if you look on his head, you don't... He doesn't actually have any eyes on there. And it's just sort of like, there's this main form that goes from like his, uh, sort of like his, above where his teeth would be. If you get a good look at it, I got it one Yeah, while like, ago. just above his, uh, upper lip. His, yeah, his upper lip, and it goes up like around his cheeks and stuff, and then back, back to the back of his head. Almost like the, the human part. Because his head is about the size of a human's. 
Yeah, that part is just vestigial at this point. Well, I mean, it, it's it's about the si same size without like the the big egg thing on his head. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> uh, that's so. I hope they have. Oh, man, I can't wait to see what they have like that in Dark Souls Two. It's like some crazy like takes over your hand slot. You can't use the weapon. Oh, but you get like. Wolverine claws or something, or like something more imaginative. Your, your that, hand obviously. is like a slime thing, and you can make grapple attacks. Oh, that would. Wow, I like it. Fund it. Yeah. Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to dodge that combo attack just didn't work out for me. Yeah, I think I figured I was done here. Yeah. I think when you sort of like, whenever I realize, oh, like, okay, I'm gonna die, I get to a good spot for where my souls are gonna be. I'm like, yeah. okay. With this arena, though, there's. I have no idea where I am anytime. Oh, you already uh, edited out the. Uh... Yeah, I only showed one run just for the sake of showing it. Right. I guess I keep forgetting that we're not actually <laughs> actually playing the game right now. So it's like, so are you gonna edit it afterwards or? I'm controlling this with my mind. I no longer need a controller. I've reached the next level, Dark Souls. Ah, uh, the powers of Agent. <laughs> now, madness. Do a backflip. He doesn't like being given commands. He's got an ego. I love when you get hit by a really heavy attack and it, sit, it knocks you off your feet with your shield up. That's one thing that wasn't used quite enough, because so many attacks you can block, it's ridiculous. Like, oh yeah, you know, hit me with a piece of metal that must weigh at least one ton, and I'll just kind of yeah. take that. Like the, um, what are they called? The Capra Demons, with their big swords. Yeah. Uh, in uh, Demon Ruins. Because they basically, like, you can block those, like, it does a huge knockback, but at the same time, you can block it. See, I feel like there was no warning for that to happen. <laughs> he did his, um... Oh, okay. But when you're constantly being attacked, it's easy to get lost in the shuffle. Yeah, lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Blocking with my spear, what a great idea. Well... I feel like anytime you get hit and you don't die, is a win. That's a good point. You know, I should be more appreciative. It's the silver lining. Not the silver pendant. This is a pretty sweet dodge. Oh, you think that's good? Well, thank you. Yeah, my dodges are nowhere near, like... That. It's either it's basically stack damage, stack ar stack survivability. See I'm how much health that combo took off when I just took it? Yeah. It was all the little hits. When you block yeah. it, it seems like it takes a big hit and then it does the little hits. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's probably what it is. I don't I don't like that they're that it's basically saying it's like don't block. I mean I understand it's a it's a good mechanic, but I guess it's at the end of the game, so it's not really teaching people bad habits. Yeah. There we go. I feel like you beat him pretty handily there. He went pretty well. I used seven Estus. Oh wow, you did. Ten, Ten humanity. humanity. <laughs> we did a fist bump. <laughs> so people know. Yeah, you couldn't see that. Maybe but it happened. Maybe they heard it. Probably not. You made like a wet smacking sound. I also forgot she was here. It's like, there was a bunch of rocks around. I thought she was a rock. She looks like a rock. <laughs> and she's just kind of generally unhappy to be here. Things to say on first dates, people. You look like a rock. <laughs> I couldn't distinguish you from the background scenery. <laughs> so I just left. She's kind of awkwardly shuffled away. Well, and it's like, how many times do you got to talk to her before she does something? I think you have to come back. Oh, okay. And she might stand up. I don't think I ever came back. I usually don't. Why would I ever come back here? This is a miserable place. Yeah. Mind you, it's like, again, perfect area to put more DLC in. Yeah. Come back, 
bo where a boss was because it's like what's that light off in the distance I'm gonna investigate bam yeah and it's like you don't think to come back there and then they can loop it around and make it connect somewhere else and then I have awaited thee thou hast rescued princess dusk and rid us of that terrible primeval human even halting the spread of the abyss I salute the grandeur of thine enterprise. Please allow me to express my gratitude. I thank thee, as do we all. Allow me to express my gratitude. Thanks! Do our Elizabeth mushrooms heal you? Yeah, I think they provide continuous healing over a short period as well. May the okay. flames guide For a while they were being duped for uh, PvP purposes. Right. Hmm. I'll usually give you three, that's it. Yeah. It's like, that's useful. Thanks. <laughs> this is gonna last me a whole five minutes. Finally leveling up. Yeah, because it's like at this point, my strength is like. Oh, probably plus 35. Maybe I wasn't one handing. I, I remember carrying it in one hand a lot. I guess I used that to block and then I would switch to two handed whenever I wanted to attack. Okay. But, but that was late game, so I was much more confident. I would not have done that before. Because that was basically. That was when I was going into the demon ruins at that point. Yeah, so, at that point you've got a good handle on the mechanics. Yeah. And thankfully I had a decent weapon throughout the game. I used the Black Knight Greatsword. Oh, damn. So, so you got that on your first playthrough. That was the one drop I got throughout the whole game, pretty much. <laughs> it's like, I can't remember a single boss that actually dropped something that was like an item. Oh, I got the I got the gargoyle helmet from the Bell Gargoyles. Oh, that's a pretty good helmet. Actually, I calculated it. I think it has the highest poise to weight ratio of any item. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I didn't like the way it looked, so I didn't wear it. Because yeah, I, I was hollow most of the game, because I was like, I don't, I don't want to get attacked. Because I was like, I started, I think I started playing online, like it automatically logged me in. And I started, I started like, oh, I'll just not log in. I'm just not going to do that anymore. Yeah. I felt like I didn't really want to waste my humanity. So I just, uh... Yeah, there's I'd not be... a lot of reasons to go human. Yeah. Aside from kindling. I guess you have to go do Calamine now. Yeah, I don't actually get to that in this video, unfortunately. Okay. What now? You think this is all my fault? How very, very petty of you. Very petty. And I wanted to show off his attacks here. So what if you kill him? Does he just go away for good? Yep. That sucks. You also get his armor. Oh. And then you get to I'm surprised you don't see more people running around in the mask. Yeah, that seems like a thing. Oh well, no more Chester. Yeah. Yeah, because it was like when I did this, because you you basically did a straight run all the way there and then came back and sort of cleaned up, whereas for me, it was like I I went a bit. Oh, I found a key. Oh, there was a locked door. I'm gonna go back to that and go talk to the guy up there, uh, and then it's like. That's one reason I would really like to do... I would like to completely forget this game and play it again. Yeah. Because I can't do that now. I just power through it. Yeah, I totally get that. And here I'm doing my uh, post-video wrap-up. Just talking about stuff. Almost getting into combat accidentally. <laughs> oh, there's these dogs down here. They're the worst. All right. Uh, thanks for joining me, Chris. Thanks for having me. It was a lot of fun. Cool. And, well, I won't spoil it for them. We'll see you next time on Dark Souls. Alrighty. Bye, everyone. Goodbye.